What's up everybody? So today in this video, what you're going to learn are three ways that bad backend processes on the back end of your business. So that means after the sales cycle, after someone signs on with you, how bad backend processes actually hurt sales. So it's kind of counterintuitive because after you receive the sale, then they're already sold. So like how does the bad backend process hurt sales. So that's what I'm going to cover today. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS. And what we do is we help business owners, possibly just like you, help you optimize the back end of your business to get more sales and particularly scale faster because you have more capacity on the back end. So if you're interested in any services, you can check out the link down in the description. But without further ado, we're going to get right in the video now. So if I jump in here, I'm going to use a tool called Miro, which is, I really like it as like a visual dashboard it's like a virtual whiteboard I guess uh, but it can really help you visualize some of these things very easily so this is these are three ways back-end processes hurt sales so the first one that I'm gonna go through and these are really if you boil these down they are three ways to scale a business from my experience uh, on the front end so the three the first way is this one isn't necessarily a way to scale a business, but it is something that just bolsters sales. It like really helps sales out a lot is if you have testimonials and even furthermore with testimonials, if you have what's called a QER, you know, I learned this from a guy named Trey Cochran. He's a, I would consider a business coach and a QER is a quantifiable, quantifiable end result. So for example, if you're trying to get someone to double their revenue, then you, your quantifiable end result is once they go from 10K to 20K. Or like when we took a company from 30K to 70K. And now when we're gonna take a company from 100K to 300K, once they reach that quantifiable end result, we need to have a process there that says, okay, let's go do an interview with them. Or let's go get a testimonial. Let's go get their picture on our front page because they came to us with a problem they didn't know how to get to their solution or they didn't know how to get to their dream, their vision. And these were the things that were stopping them and we got them there solving those things. So once you can get that testimonial, you can walk someone through that path and you can get that testimonial out there on your website, on social media, then you can get a lot more sales. So if you have a good testimonial process, a good client interview process, then you can that can actually help sales a lot while being a back-end process. So that's the first one. And a lot of this gets overlooked because the people maybe in marketing that are marketing all the case studies and all of that, they're not always the same ones on the back-end. So it can get tricky, especially as business grows, uh, complexity and team size just gets exponentially larger. So it, if you can have a good way to collect testimonials, that would be the first way. Now, the second way is no way to capture referrals. So a lot of times, and I, I got a lot of this from reading the book, Referral Engine gives a lot of good tactics and strategies for collecting referrals, how to get like really high quality referrals. But if you don't have a way to communicate, one, I guess that you set or that you value referrals how you market to referrals. So like, what should that person be expecting? Like, are you gonna be sending them an email blast with a thousand emails? Or is it just gonna kind of be up to that person? Are there any like discounts or anything like that? Is there like an affiliate program? Uh, but if you don't have any way at all to capture referrals or any way to make that prospect, uh, like the referral prospect or the, re the person referring that prospect feel special, then there's probably an issue there. So or that's at least going to hurt sales. Maybe not necessarily an issue, but you're missing out on sales, which is an issue because if you can't capture these referrals, that's just, those are like the best clients to get because your past client or maybe your current client is giving you that referral. They know the value that your business brings to them. So if they're, trying to refer someone, they know they want that same quantifiable end result that you got that person. So all in all, if you have a system to capture referrals, that's going to help sales as well, because I think that one's pretty obvious because a referral can turn basically straight into a sale. 
Now, what is the last one? So, so far we've covered uh, collecting testimonials and collecting referrals. So this one is collecting testimonials for marketing, which can give people more trust into your business, which can help sales. This one is having a way where people can refer a friend. Uh, that way that can help sales by expanding the number of people that you're helping. Now this last one is extending the lifetime value of a customer. So if you don't have any backend offers or you don't have any ways to extend a contract with somebody, then that is a way that is help, or hurting sales. If you don't have any system for after you get done with this service, you have this other thing that is complimentary. Uh, I know Russell Brunson talks about this a ton. Uh, I believe it's in, I want to say expert secrets. Uh, he talks about this a lot about how he was making a lot of different offers and they were all distractions. But once he started making one offer and then giving an offer that complemented that instead of distracting that, it helped out his clients a lot um, and added more value to his business. So those are the three ways. If you have a good way to give your client a num another offer that can one, give them a ton more value and two, put more money in your pocket, then there's going to be a really good value exchange and you can help sales by extending that lifetime value. Uh, again, the second way was increasing the power of your referral system. And that first way was getting a good system down to collect testimonials. So I hope you enjoyed these three ways that you can actually end up helping sales if you have these three processes in place. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy this video right in the end screen. It's going to take you through three systems to get to 10K per month. These are systems that I've vetted myself when I was trying to get from zero to 10K and I've helped a lot of my clients get there as well. So if you're interested in those systems, you can check them out in the middle of the screen. It'll take you to, to a new video still on YouTube, still staying, sticking here. But if you go click that end screen right there, it'll take you right there. And without further ado, I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.